Welcome everybody to a remake of the tutorial series of Hydraneer. Um, I was working on the last videos and it seems that I made some mistakes um, that worked for me but not for everybody else. So it's thanks to uh, Rizalo IPT for um, noting me about those mistakes. I also have to rectify um, the statement I made in the last video for those seeing it. Um, some people didn't like me saying that don't start it if you do not know how to program at all. Um, well, they misunderstood uh, in the end uh, what I meant. If, that, if you do not know how to install software, at least don't start coding until you know how to install software. Because if you start to code or mod for games, you need to know um, how to install software, how to run software, as well as at least know a little bit basic logics of how things are created, moved and edited. Me, myself, like I said in the first video of the last attempt that I made with these videos, I'm still learning. That's why when I make mistakes, I directly take down the videos and redo it all over again. Um, so in this case, let me start with the first part. I will combine part one and part two uh, of the first video series into one video now. So, um, yeah, let, let's just uh, start and hopefully this one uh, comes a little bit better out. Um, beside uh, that, there is one last thing that I want to say before I start. Uh, some user called the Eslin Nation um, was mad that I told them they shouldn't be modding while I couldn't take any criticism. Um, I can take criticism. I'm trying to do my best to help everybody, including the mothers, to get a little bit of load off their heads and their um, shoulders due to the fact that we get a lot of people asking uh, how they should mod. And I would like to help people learn how to mod, at least the basics for Hydraneer, what I learned from the community itself, which is a very good community to talk to on Discord. So if you like to talk about modding, uh, or you like to talk at all with other people, come and join the community of Hydraneer on their Discord. It's a very nice um, place to be. So, uh, without further ado, let's start with the setup. Last time I tried to explain it correctly, so let me just try it again. Before you ever start modding, you will need some tools. Uh, in first off, the Unreal Editor. For that one, you need to install the Epic Games Launcher, which you can get from the website, Epic Games Launcher. Uh, if you type it, uh, you can get to the, the Epic Store and you can download the Epic Games Launcher. And when you have downloaded it and you start it up, you need to log in with your Epic Games account. And on the left, there is a topic called Unreal Engine. And when you click it, you can uh, download and install versions of Unreal Engine. And you need to get this one, the 4.26.2. There might be a newer release by then. However, um, since this is written here, I recommend using the version that they recommend. Uh, same counts for Visual Studio 2019. Um, it has been tested on this version by uh, the community and it works the best on this version. Personally, I use the 22 version without issues. However, it's recommended to use the version they recommend, especially when you're just starting to mod and do not want to do any experimental stuff. Um, so get the Visual Studio 2019 if you want to make sure that everything works as follows. The Hydrogen Modding Toolchain, it's a very good tool made by the Rizalo, uh, Rizalo IPT, like I uh, got the, uh, the instructions from. Anyways, uh, you can see here, I personally downloaded the zip file. The MZ doesn't work for me, but the zip file did. And extract it to a folder where you're gonna run all your projects from. Um, you can optionally use this one to extract assets. Personally, I didn't need it because I'm downloading the full template. And that's where the point comes in. You have two templates that we can use for modding. The first one is the master one. It's the most smallest one. 
and only recommends the core features. Um, and it doesn't include as much meshes and textures as the full release. And you have the full one, which is yeah, basically everything you can think of from Hydenir that you can mod modify, and including the meshes, textures, and those that are not in the master branch. In order to get the full one, click here on master, change it to full template. You get the same page again, but now it says full template. And I personally use code and then download zip. You can also use um, uh, Visual Studio to download it, basically clone the repo. However, I personally use the zip file. There's one thing to note, a lot of people have the same problem as I had because it's a such huge download and um, GitHub doesn't communicate the file size in the end because it's being zipped by uh, the platform. It might sometimes get you a corrupt zip file. If that happens, simply re-download and what I do is clicking it by that it starts downloading and then I click the open run ready. It's Dutch here, but it should be open run ready. If you do that one, you can make sure that the file is not corrupt because it directly after downloading, it locks the file into the open state so that it will not get corrupted when ending the thing. I think it's something with the end of the downloads causing the issue, but I have no idea for that one, but it did do the trick for me when directly opening it. Next thing you need to do is opening the, the Visual Studio installer. After you've installed Visual Studio, you can also get the Visual Studio installer on your system. You can simply search in your Windows Start menu and you will get it. And then you can uh, click on More. And then Import Configuration for your Visual Studio Edition. And when you do, you can get the Visual Studio config that's located here. You can download it separately from the main download to get it quicker. Um, it's a configuration that contains all the programs and such in a file so that the Visual Studio installer knows what to install and what you need. In this case, you need to import the configuration and make sure that you click the asterisk uh, in the uh, types because uh, our VS Config is not labeled as VS Config. So it's just named VS Config without an extension. Now, when you do that, it becomes visible in your folder and you simply click it, review details. Now there are two things to note. One is that install while downloading is more handy than using download all then install because it will take a lot longer. Especially on high-end PCs, why wait for a download and then install while well, you can do both at the same time. Besides that, there is something else and that's that sometimes it wants to install IncrediBuild in this list. This is something that's uh, in the tab individual components and when you click on it, please unselect it. It will mess up the build system of Unreal Engine and prevent you from building mods. So simply untick it and um, then click on uh, the install button. When you're done with all that, you can start up the project by opening it with Visual Studio 2019. And this is one important step. When you get your project, project for example, this folder over here, there is no solution file and a lot of folders are missing that I have on my screen right here. However, if you right click the U project, you can open it with other stuff. So you can also open it with Visual Studio itself. So right click and then open with Visual Studio. If it's not in the, um, in the open with uh, menu, since I have Dutch, it's hard to showcase it correctly. Anyways, open with and then choose other app and then simply click Visual Studio and it will open up in Visual Studio. When you do that, you only have to do right click on the name on the right top, the solution, and then build solution. When you do that, it will prepare the assets of the entire project for modding and directly prepares the files that are missing, builds it up, so that the download was smaller for us. The only thing we need to do is rebuild the solution. So in this case, when you have done that, then you're in basically almost ready with the, um, with the modding setup. So in this case, um, now your modding experience is set up. So simply click, double click on the U project file and it should open the Unreal Editor 
or Unreal Add an Engine. It's it basically both the same. Editor is the editor and engine is the core behind it, but weird enough on the Epic Launcher it shows it on Engine. And this one is Editor, so there you go. Anyways, you will end up in this screen over here, looking like this. It is possible that a pop-up uh, comes up asking for some stuff. Just click yes and it's gone and you can start modding. First things first, make a folder called mods. Very important. This is where you're gonna put your project folders in. Simply right click, new folder and call it mods. In that mod folder, you can create folders for every project, but that's something for the next um, tutorial video. Anyways, um, important, you also need to go into the HTML folder. Right click, new folder and create a folder called hooks if you do not have it already. The latest release of the template contains the hooks folder by itself. So you do not need to make it, but if you do not have it, make one. As simply as it is. Good. Well, that's it for this first part of the tutorial. And the next part I will showcase a simple uh, setup how to mod your first item based on a logic cable. Um, thank you all for watching and see you all soon. Good luck! Yeah.